Welcome back. So last weekend I went to Singapore and bought all of this board for $45. So it must be $15 each. And these boards are from Espresso System. And today I want to try something with one of these boards. So let's take a look. So I decided to try my new Pixel 8 point RGB ring with this ESP board. This is my Neopixel A1 RGB ring and I only use 3 pins on this video. They are D12, 27th pin, 5 volt, 5 volt, and ground to ground. Before we going too far, let's make a little review of this board. So this board only have RX and TX LED only. I can't find the built-in LED yet that I can use as an output. And this board has different size with my other ESP32 boards like from Sparkfun and Maker Asia. So in this video, I will use my half size brick board two hundred twenty and one hundred fifty OHM resistor and a couple of jumper wire and the bad news is it doesn't fit my half brick board and also my full size brick board but it is okay for now, let's hook up these things for fun. And don't forget to unplug your USB when you plug some jumper cable to your breadboard. I'm using 27th pin as an output and place the resistor like this. That's it, we are ready for now. You can open your Arduino IDE and you can connect your ESP board to your computer. You should to open Sketch and then open the Manage Library and find a pixel on the search bar, then install it because mine is already installed, so the result is must be like this. And I got some error because I'm not connected to any Wi Fi right now. Then you can open file and then find examples, then choose NeoPixel from other fruit and then strand test. This is the example from strand test and I should to close it right now because I will use in my entire sketch. So you should to change this number. It depends to your NeoPixel. If you have 16 LED, so you should to change it with 16 because mine is having 8 LED, so I changed with 8. And don't forget to change the pin definition because I'm using 27 pin as an output, so I change it with 27.
Don't forget to check your serial port and then choose your board wisely. And for your information, this examples work on my ESP32 boards like Sparkfun ESP32 things and my Nano32 so I'm pretty sure this is will work on your ESP board too. And you can compile and upload your script and then let it dancing. All right, it is working and that's awesome, beautiful. All right, I will turn off my room light and take a look closer. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.